Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be talking about concealers. Dear God. And I'm only keeping 10. I have completely redone this whole room. You guys, on Wednesday, you're gonna see such a big after. I am so excited. I got professional organizers and I've redone so much in here, but you guys requested that I do a few more videos, kind of like the Bad Bin one and kind of like the foundation video. I'll link both of those below. And my concealer drawer was probably one of the drawers that was just totally unnecessary. I would open it up and I would reach for the same ones over and over and over, even though there was just like a sea of concealer. And in my mind, I kept getting rid of concealers that I didn't like, but clearly I did not do a good enough job because that drawer was just constantly full. So what I have done is I have narrowed it down to 10 concealers that I am keeping, and that will be from here on out, I'm hoping, I'm praying, I'm re I really wanna keep it this way. I only wanna have 10 on hand. I think that's the perfect amount. I wanna have a few shades of each in case I get a tan, in case I'm a little more pale. I am keeping a little bit of color and shade variety, but I have a bunch here from the drugstore, higher end, full, full coverage, um, some cream, some liquid. So we're gonna talk about my holy grail, forever favorite, loves concealers. And I'll show you a little bit of the ones that I'm getting rid of too, because they just, they just didn't work. It's not even that they're like regrets or fails or awful. It's just not what I am drawn to. They are not the best. Um, how do we like my hair? You guys are probably watching this and you're like, Tati, it looks exactly the same. What are you talking about? But I actually chopped off so much of it. It does not look like I cut much at all, but I promise you, I did. It's like only down to my boob where it was like down here below. Ooh, I just shouted in the microphone. Sorry, I was gonna chop it like to here, and then I totally, totally chickened out. Like I had a picture of JLo, I'm gonna pop it up here, of what I wanted to do with my hair, and I wanted to go a little bit lighter than this, but we could only change my hair color a little bit, like we couldn't go that drastic. So this is like baby steps, but I think next time, like in a couple months, I'm gonna add more light to my hair, and I think I'm gonna do the chop but I wanna, I wanna know from you guys, what do you think? Do you think that's crazy? Cause I totally was gonna do it and then I chickened out at the last minute cause my mom called me and was like, don't cut your hair, you will regret it. And then I kept seeing on Twitter cause I asked you guys like, what do you think if I chop my hair off? And so many people were sending like memes and pictures and you guys were like, hell no Tati, don't you cut your hair. I will gag, I will hate it. And I'm sitting there like with my hairstylist uh, doing my hair. He came to my home, he's amazing. Rick Henry, I love you, you're so fabulous. Um, but anyway, he was doing my hair and I'm like, I, let's just keep it like this. So next time, if you guys were waiting for the hair update, this is it. It's a little lighter, I got highlights, I cut off several inches, but you probably can't even tell. Okay, let's talk about concealers. First one I'm gonna share with you guys is from NARS. Now this one is a really good concealer to carve out the brow. You can take even like an angled brush and just like dab right in here, grab the tiniest bit, and you can go right underneath the brow and you can get the prettiest, prettiest blurred out but sharpened look on your brows. So that is my favorite thing to do with these. They are great for spot concealing as well. They're not gonna fully cover things up, but they do a pretty decent job. Also, if I'm having a day where I'm just doing like tinted moisturizer and I wanna just do this business and just tap underneath the eye, this works great for that too. The next concealer that I absolutely adore so much, and I used this during a WTA F as like the world's most full coverage foundation because this is actually sold as foundation. I mean, it says makeup cover. You can use it as foundation everywhere all over your face. You definitely don't have to. Using it that way, I don't like it. But this stuff, if you use a tiny concealer brush, like something itty bitty, and you just grab a little bit and you match it to your skin, you can cover up literally anything and you can just get very detailed in whatever area that you need to cancel out any hyperpigmentation, sun damage, acne, any, you know, sometimes my veins are more visible and I like to cover this area. Like this does the best job for intense coverage when you don't want full coverage everywhere. So this is like my, like getting out the big guns type concealer. I just love this stuff. It's really, really good. You can buy it on Amazon, not terribly expensive either. And I've used this so much and I've barely like, there's so much in here. You guys, you need like the tiniest, tiniest amount. It is ridiculous. Look at that on my hand. And it just like will go everywhere. 
tiny, 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 tiny bit that you need. I actually rediscovered this while I was cleaning things out and kind of hemming and hawing over what I wanna keep, what I wanna get rid of, and I was reminded how much I love this Make It Forever Ultra HD. This is a great concealer that is very thin in texture where you can layer it up, it looks very natural, but it is very, very full coverage. It's just so lightweight, and they have a system where there are color correctors that you can put on first, and then you can go in with another concealer that is a shade lighter than your foundation and do typical concealing on top of it, and they just work together like a dream. A little goes a long way, and these are just so good. I do, ooh, I don't have it in front of me. From when Siri did my, Siri didn't do my makeup. Get it together, Tati. When Siri picked my makeup, I tried out a new Makeup Forever concealer. <gasps> oh my gosh, I don't know where I put that. I want it to be one of my 10, because I really, 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 really like that. It was like very full coverage and very long wearing and really good. And I'm so surprised that I had never tried that out. Okay, so I need to edit something out of here what on earth am I gonna get rid of? I'm getting rid of this collection concealer. Oh my gosh, this is the Lasting Perfection Ultimate Wear Concealer. This is something that you can't buy in the States, so for the longest time I was like, I must keep it. But this is a drugstore over in the UK. This is really, really good. I probably won't wear it that much, to be honest, so you've been lovely and I've had a good time with you, but I'm moving on. Okay, so yeah, insert the other Make It Forever concealer as one of my 10. Make It Forever does such a good job with concealers. They are, they make good ones. I just said that five times. I'm keeping these. I still reach for them, I still like them. I think that the Kim Kardashian concealers are actually quite good. And the thing that I like about this is when you do set it properly, it just locks right in and it does give you that very contour, highlighted type of a thing. Or if you take it down the nose, you take it on the forehead, it blends out really beautifully. Okay, to the drugstore we go. Age Rewind from Maybelline. I have talked about this so many times. It's kind of like beating a dead horse. Like you guys know I love this. My favorite is actually the Neutralizer, which I need a new one. I have this shade right here, Light Pale, but it does not even compare to the yellow undertone in the neutralizer. This one is just like perfect. Yeah, this has gotta go. I need a new one, but I just wanted to show you guys what love I have for this product. When I did Style Code Live and whenever they were like, pick a drugstore concealer. At the time, this is what I would talk about over and over and over and over. Um, you definitely can pick this up on Amazon or any drugstore anywhere. It's everywhere. Another Maybelline concealer that I love is the Fit Me, and I have re-fallen in love with this. It has such a nice liquidy texture, so it's great on your lesser glam days. If you don't wanna like full spackle underneath the eye and you're not gonna be doing lashes and everything else, and you wanna keep things kinda natural and almost blended into natural looking skin, this is so nice because it covers, it's like the drugstore version of this, to be honest. It covers really well, but it's very thin in texture and it sits on the skin so nicely. And then of course we have the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. This is kind of an in-between Tarte Shape Tape and you know this type of a thing where it's a good texture, but it gives you massive coverage and it does not grip into your lines. It does not exaggerate texture. Really, really love this. It's just been something I've reached for over and over and over over the past year. Of course, Tarte Shape Tape. Holy cow, this is probably the best concealer in the world. It is such a hyped product, but for good reason because it does the best job if you are looking for full glam and you really want nothing underneath your eyes. Like I'm wearing it today and it's just like, I just feel so like canceled out even though I got no sleep last night and I woke up really early to work out and like my makeup's good. Like it just really locks in, it wears all day long, it is the best. And then we have the Estee Lauder Double Wear. This is another one that is just so great. If my forehead is dry and I wanna bring concealer on the forehead to do a little bit of a highlighting type of a moment, or if I want to really full coverage conceal underneath my eyes, but for whatever reason, my eyes have any like dry patches or anything, this is what I go to. It is very long wearing, very high coverage, but it does not cling or sit on top of the skin. Like it really melts into the skin beautifully. And if you have not checked this out, you're missing out on life. It is so good. Ooh, Estee Lauder, you just, you do a good job with face makeup. I'm gonna show you really quickly um, a few things I'm getting rid of. There's a lot more than this that I'm getting rid of, but I don't want this to be like an hour and a half long video just about concealers. Who would watch that? Would any of you guys? 
oops. <laughs> would any of you guys watch that? I don't know, I would watch that, but I'm always afraid that you guys will be like, oh my God, she's talking about one thing for like way too long. So I'm gonna wrap this up pretty quick. I'm getting rid of the Natasha Denona Highlighting Concealer. I'm getting rid of the Clay de Peau Concealer. This is tough for me to let go of, but I don't use it anymore because I use this and it's kind of the same thing, but I just, I like this one more. Everybody really, really loved this and I got sucked into like really, really loving it too, almost because like everybody swore by it, but it's like 90 bucks, no thank you, I don't need it. All right, the little mirror concealers, those gotta go. The YSL All Hours, love the foundation. Not such a big fan of the concealer. I have a Jouer concealer that I think this has some kind of blemish fighting type of a thing in here. Just never really used it. Also getting rid of the Elizabeth Arden concealer. Liked that for a quick minute, but then changed my mind. I really do feel like makeup is like a relationship. Like you can think a guy's really cute like immediately and you go out and you're like, he's funny, he's charming, he's great. And then you go out again and you're like, yeah, I'm kind of into this. And then you go out again and he says something weird and you're just like, no, next, game over. That's how I am with makeup. Like I can like, like it and dig it. And then all of a sudden I have one day where I like look in the mirror and I'm like, no. Uh, the Fiona Styles. Oh, this is sad. This is the Perfecting and Brightening uh, Concealer. Again, I just don't really use it. Uh, Japanesque, same kind of a thing. I don't really do like the thin highlighty concealers. Like I want more if I'm gonna do that. I want it to be full coverage. Uh, so this is the Dior Star Skin Concealer. This is really, really good, but again, I just don't like it as much as Shape Tape or Estee Lauder. Also the Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination. I'm gonna give this to my mom, she'll like this. Uh, this is just has too much of a slip for me, but it is nice coverage. And that is a sampling of a lot of what I am getting rid of, but we have made so much space for trying new things. I am making a new path for myself and not holding on to so much makeup. It's unnecessary. I want to not have it expire. I wanna donate more. I wanna do more giveaways for you guys. So thank you for all your feedback on the video that I posted last week. I really, really appreciate it. And I'm definitely taking note. Even though I feel like I donate a lot, I can do even more and that's really exciting. So stay tuned. On Wednesday, the cleanup continues. I put up GoPros and we're just gonna like go through the whole room and really get organized. So if you like those kind of organizational videos, you will love Wednesdays. And I just really appreciate you guys for hanging out with me and being so kind during this decluttering process. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. That always helps me out. Make sure you are subscribed. And if you're subscribed, make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. All right, I love you guys so much and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Mwah.